How's it going, guys? Difficult question for hematology, step one, internal medicine, 2CK. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, online underscore medical, and the man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel down below. And I'll start the clip. 62-year-old man, three-month history, fatigue, low-grade fever, pain in his right arm. He has a history of cancer treated with radiotherapy. Hemoglobin, 10 grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5 and non-menstruating women and men. 12 to 17.5 menstruating women. X-ray of the right humerus is shown, which the following is most likely to be seen as patient. X-ray, I'll talk about as move through the clip let's just whip to the answer choice here choice a cd 1530 positivity on b lymphocytes wrong fucking answer it refers to hodgkin lymphoma and 100 percent of questions are going to tell you that there's a lateral painless neck mass or facial swelling okay so a lateral neck slash facial mass or swelling is what you will see in hodgkin lymphoma questions then after they tell you that they will add any one of a number of miscellaneous findings such as hepatosplenomegaly a mediastinal mass, which is not thymoma, it's mediastinal lymphadenopathy, or they can tell you that there's a palpable left supraclavicular lymph node, trucyosinum malignancy, Verkhoff nodes, spelled Burkow. Next best step of management is biopsy of a lymph node to look for the CD1530 positive Reed Sternberg B cells, which are classically owl eye in appearance. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, cytoplasmic filamentous projections, wrong fucking answer refers to hairy cell leukemia. I've only seen this asked once. Very easy question. Students get fanatical about weird diagnoses. They literally will show you a blood smear with these hairy appearing cells. And then they, they tell you in the stem that there are cytoplasmic filamentous projections. The answer is just hairy cell leukemia. Very easy question. Okay, rare diagnosis, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, increased gene transcription of reductase enzyme. Very obscure answer choice, wrong fucking answer. This is correct on one of the offline step one forms where they ask about the cellular adaptive response to giving statins. In other words, when you give a statin for lowering LDL, it's going to inhibit HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. As a result, the adaptive cellular response is to jack up gene transcription of HMG, of HMG CoA reductase enzyme to compensate. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, reduce peptide hormone secretion. Also nebulous answer choice, correct answer. Okay, so PTH is going to be suppressed in the setting of hypercalcemia secondary to multiple myeloma, which is what this x-ray is showing. Okay, this is lytic lesions of the humerus. This lesion, more of the distal third shaft of the humerus, more conspicuous. There are also lesions more proximally. Now, if you think this question is a bit weird and vague because I didn't mention hypercalcemia in the vignette, I didn't mention pepper pot skull or show you the image of the pepper pot skull, Benz Jones proteinuria, okay, increased serum IgG kappa lambda light chains plasma cells greater than 10% in the bone marrow, okay? So back pain, mid back pain especially. So these types of buzzy findings that we get in multiple myeloma, this question nearly identical to one of the newer 2CK questions on the NBME. Okay, they show you an x-ray for multiple myeloma of the uh, right humerus, okay? And give you a very vague vignette. They tell you that there was history of cancer treated with radiotherapy in the patient, which implies if you've had history of radiotherapy, that can increase the risk of other cancers, such as leukemias, lymphomas, even thyroid cancer. Okay, so this question, as I just fucking said, similar to an NBME question. So if you think it's weird, don't take it up with me, take it up with the NBME exam. PTH is a peptide hormone that would be suppressed in response to hypercalcemia. Okay, so increased negative feedback at the calcium sensing receptors, the parathyroid glands. So lastly, warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia, wrong fucking answer, could be seen in CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So CLL is going to be an adult who has super elevated lymphocytes, generally greater than 50,000, and they're all lymphocytes. Okay, so for example, if they give you an 80-year-old male who has a lymphocyte count of 90,000, and they're 88% lymphocytes, that's CLL, okay? Not dramatic, you can get smudge cells on a smear, that's lower yield for them to show you something like that. If you had a kid who had 88% lymphocytes uh, with an elevated 
uh, leukocyte count, similar fashion. That would be ALL, not CLL. But you can get warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia, which just simply means the formation of IgG antibodies against RBCs. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.